Welcome everybody. Today I'd like to show you the key elements of the CraneB software. My name is Mark Andy Roca, so let's start. First of all, we have to set up the typical details like what is my job site name, how is the calendar function, so when will the project happen. We have a load description, dimension and weight, and maybe additional information we like to put later on our printout. We have the customer details and we have the executing company, which would be usually the creator. Down right, we push OK and the system will ask now for a specific folder where we like to save this project. Now we are in the main area of Crane B and this black area needs to be fulfilled with cranes, buildings, background drawings and rigging. On the left side we have the Project Explorer, so here we will see later on all details we have in the black area. We continue and push New Crane and the system will load up all cranes I have on my license. And you can use this video as a reference for our demo version. Crane B is a fleet research tool, so you can select just one crane or a couple of cranes that you can figure out what is the best crane to do the job or maybe the best configuration. I will choose the 300 tonner growth and push next. Now we are in the next step and we have loaded up the complete crane database and we can see a counter that we have around about 5600 different configurations. Right side we have this crane where we can see all changes regarding counterweight, boom structures and outrigger combinations. So it's like a look and feel and you will feel always familiar with the machine regarding the changes we want to do right now. Left side you have three major areas. Area number one would be what I call classic research. We have the smallest radius, the largest radius, the gross load, which means hook, rigging and load all together and height up to the roll. Very interesting is also the reserve. So if you are operating in a critical area like nuclear, oil and gas, you can minimize your duty charts directly with a factor of 10% or 20%. Area number two would be if you are familiar with the crane and you know exactly what you need, you can just manually select the machine. So you select a boom configuration, a main boom length, a jib length, the angles, outrigger combinations, counterweight sequences. Area number three would be if you have a building and you have a critical corner you have to lift something over and that would be part of my presentation. So my building would be 8 meter, I have 30 meter height, I have 8 meter depth. From the superstructure rotation point to the building side we have 15, clearance to the critical corner is 2, and my radius, my target radius is 25 meter and push search. Still, we have 2300 possibilities because the load is still zero. So we go to load and decide for, in my example right now, 10 ton. The maximum we could do is 21.8 ton. I push start search and now we are getting a very close result. It's just 600 possibilities left. So we go to define setup and my idea would be now I want less erection times as possible and less transport costs as possible. So we go with just main boom and I want to have less counterweight as possible, 21 ton. And we have in our list down just three possibilities because we still have different main boom sequences. But when we go to the right side, we see 
which is the strongest of those three. And I would go further with the 11.3 and push next. Now we are back in our main window from the beginning. And here you can see now we have a crane inside, we have our building, you can make a fluent rotation. We have on the left the Project Explorer and we got already our building and we have one crane step. Right side, all about technical, which crane configuration, the duty chart, which you usually have in paper form, and all about capacity and crane control. We have right now 10 ton, 25 meter radius, which would be 89% of our capacity. 100% is 75 metric charts. If we would have US database, it would be 85% imperial charts. The next buttons would be lifting up the load and load rotation. And then we have these fancy colors over here. And they indicate the color on the crane. So we have a carrier always in yellow, superstructure blue, main boom in red. If we would have a jib, it would be green. And if we have a crawler crane with a super lift counterweight radius, it would be purple. And we can now modify how we like to put the crane, let's say, to the side of the building. So we go to a top view. We go to superstructure. I type in 90 degree enter. And the same for the carrier 90 degree enter. So now we are to the side of the building. You can also see on the right side a top view. And this is the essential part of the ground pressure calculation, which is calculated in real time. So you can get any value you want. And white would be the actually pressure. Red would be the pressure by a 360 degree turnaround, the highest. So if we go to superstructure and let's say we want to go further with five degree steps and we push again and again or keep the mouse button you will see the system will always calculate the ground pressures in runtime yeah or you directly type in 90 degree enter and you get your final position last but not least for my first printout i just won't have some mats now i go to my menu bar mats I can have rectangle mats, round mats, all different size, different height, different angle. For my purpose today, just only rectangle, 2 to 3 meter and 30 thickness. I push accept and I get all those mats under my machine as well. I get more distance between the building corner. And also that information will be later on in my printout that I can show my customer, hey, that would be the mats I'm using. So we go to project, print. Now we have our preview online. So you can see here our cover letter. You can put in your logo. Second page is who is involved in this project. Page number three all about technical so which crane configuration are we using what is the use of capacity side view of the machine duty chart ground pressure calculation mat sizes page number four simple side view isometric view top view and now you can push everything directly into a pdf you go for print pdf print and you get automatically the document you like to show to your customer.